What is up guys? This is Godlike Matt. Uh, I already configured my inventory and everything. So let's just fucking kick this shit right off into overdrive right now. Let's do it. Let's go. Here we go. Yep. Here we go. It's happening. Now, uh... Spider's invisible. But that's okay. Cause I'm gonna blow his nuts off. Like that. <laughs> God, I blew him in the pieces. Alrighty. Now let's fucking pick up every single item in this room. Like a G? Like, like a G? Yep. All right. So like, damn, all right, I'm already almost full. Holy fuck! Shit, me. Oh god, he's not spitting up on me, is he? No. Is that everything in here? Yeah, it is. All right, so we're done in this room. There is another spider in here, but it doesn't matter. He ain't bothering nobody. We don't gotta kill him. Come on, that's cruel. That's heartless. Now, uh... Let's make a quick stop. Jeez, I couldn't click on the door. What the fuck, man? What the fuck, man? What the fuck, man? What the fuck, man? Let's get in the door. Let's get in. Do it. If you don't do what I say... Then... Fuck you. What the fuck you? <laughs> oh, I love that scene. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a blue and green right there. Put this away. Come on, where is it? There you are. And what the fuck? Let's put this away for... We'll take this just in case I think one herbs enough don't you don't you oh I got no knives god damn it oh well. oh well we don't need them now hopefully we could finish the fucking I mean well actually this is probably not gonna happen like there's no way but it would be pretty damn awesome if I finished the entire residence in this video I doubt it's gonna happen, but it would be pretty fucking cool. At the very least, I'll finish the shark. Not sure if I'll have enough time for, uh, Plant 42. I also gotta fucking do that password bullshit at some point. Oh, wait, no, I don't wanna take that yet. Yeah, um, never remove the map off the wall until you're ready to kill the bees. Reason being is because if you remove the map off the wall before you're gonna kill the bees, the bees can come through the hole and then they'll be flying around in that room and it'll be really annoying. How you doing, Beery? Whoa! That was fun. Totally forgot, you could just press circle and that's that. Ooh! Push that bookcase out of the way like a G. Alright. Is there nothing else in here? Nope. Nope. Now, as soon as we go into this bathroom, there's gonna be a fucking dude. Oh, wait. That's not what I wanted. Where is it? Oh, here it is. See, that's what I wanted to avoid. I wanted to try and grab the key before he entered the room so that I could just avoid it. Although, I don't even know if that's possible. I don't know if you can even be fast enough to avoid it. 
I I have no idea. That'd be pretty sketchy. And where the fuck did he even come from? Like, what the fuck, honestly? Maybe he climbed in through this window. That's the only logical explanation. Because where the fuck else could he have been? Makes zero sense. Zero. Alright. Time to investigate said room. So, I had a pretty fucking shitty day yesterday. Gotta say. So, I'm actually really looking forward to playing right now just to like get away from everything and then just enjoy playing one of my favorite games ever. That's the plan. Self defense gun. Oh, goody. Oh look, more ammo. Sweet. Uh, and that's everything. Cool. Now we never have to worry about this room again. But we gotta finish this room super quick. I love how the zombie just fucking appeared out of nowhere. It's pretty amazing. Is that everything? Yeah, it is. Oh, look at that. I cheated the game. He was supposed to break in there. Like, I literally, like, that's why the music queued up. He broke through the door, but I clicked it so fast that it, like, canceled it. That's pretty fucking awesome. I've never done that before. Damn. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Now, I actually have an idea here. I'm not gonna bring a herb. Change my mind. Reason being is because, um, you get a herb down there. And I'm not gonna need my handgun while I'm down there. Or actually, that is absolutely not true. I'm gonna need it to kill that fucker. I wanna bring the book, but, uh, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I want to bring it just so that I can run straight to Plant 42 from from the shark area. But it clutters too much inventory. I can't. I just can't. So I'm not gonna. Bitches. Every time I play this game, like I'm saying it in my head constantly, I'm always thinking it. But I'm never saying it, because if I said it every time I fought it, you'd hear it like 24-7. But I just fucking love this outfit on Jill, man. I'm so passionate about it. And speaking of Jill, I, I've actually wanted, wanted to say this a few times. Um, fucking, if I had to choose a video game mascot, like a video game character to represent me, you fuck. It would totally be Jill. Hands down. Come on. Okay, so that should be it, right? I like barely heard him, man. He's quiet as a fucking mouse. Okay, now you're dead. I don't understand why they, uh... They fucking die. Or I mean, no, they don't die. They fall over from like one bullet and then get back up and then fall over again. Like it's fucking weird. I wonder how they like program that to work. Okay. Game theory, Wesker's behind this door. It's the only thing that makes sense. He's literally hiding behind that door waiting for me. I didn't I actually didn't get to explain this, but that is my theory. Like he literally that he has to be behind that door right now. Like it, it's isn't it pretty funny to think about that Wesker's standing right behind this door? He's he's listening. He just he just listened to me jerk the knob. Reason why that's the only thing that makes sense is cause he uh he 
he had to come down here when I walked in the room with Barry because Barry was talking to him and his only escape was down here but obviously he wouldn't run the gauntlet meaning he wouldn't go through the entire shark area so the only thing that makes sense is when he came down here that door was unlocked he went behind it closed it locked the door and stands there waiting for me to do this all this box pushing and then continue along my way and then he goes back up the ladder while you're not looking pulls a fast one it's it's hilarious but it's the only thing that makes sense it's really fucking funny to think about but yeah there we go yeah god I remember there was this absolutely ridiculous fucking level in Resident Evil Outbreak which is a really um a lot of RE fans weren't fans of that game but I loved Resident Evil Outbreak for the main reason that like it it felt like the older games but um there'd be sharks in these waters but yeah there was this ridiculous fucking level in Resident Evil Outbreak 2 where you literally go to a zoo and all the animals there are infected there's there's an infected fucking elephant with his guts hanging out and there's like infected like lions and and, and gazelles and all that shit it's it's hilarious and it's also ridiculous and the elephant chases you like all over the level I own Outbreak 2, but I didn't play it much. I remember I, um, couldn't beat any of the first levels. Because I'm pretty sure they give you, like, three to choose from. And I couldn't beat any of them. But, uh, it's, um, those games were awesome. And I really liked how they also implemented the, uh, puzzle system. Like... They felt just like the older Resident Evils, because they had puzzles, same gameplay, like it was great. I loved those games. It was awesome. Anyways, here we go. Let's start her up. Controls for the main system. Actually, I should check the time real quick. Damn, we were going on 12 minutes. Holy shit. Let's get this thing out the way. Yo! Aren't you supposed to be invisible? Emergency! 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 Since you sound like fucking bitch. Yeah. I'm actually not sure. If, like, if I were to run straight to the oil pressure pipes instead of pulling that lever, if it would even allow that to work. I just press the, the lever first anyway, because that's what's always worked for me. God damn it. Let's see, which one is it? Oh, I guess wrong. I've done that, like, the past three playthroughs. Press the wrong, like, the, the wrong two first. 50% of pressure, pressure threshold. threshold. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. I'm on it. I'm doing my best. And my best is what I'm doing. Oh, guys, you know what's so shitty? Today, um, reviews came out for, uh, The Order, 1886 or something like that. Can't remember exactly what the game's called. But, uh, it's a new game that's coming out literally tomorrow, which is Friday. And that game looked so cool. Like, I was legit excited for it. I was like, wow, this game looks really awesome. I totally want to play it. And... I was really hoping that the game wouldn't be garbage. And, uh, apparently it is. Or, well, I shouldn't say garbage, because that's overdoing it a little. But it's it's got, like, major flaws that hold it back. At least from what I've read in the reviews. And that's very disappointing. Extremely disappointing. 
Because I really wanted to play that game. I, I thought it looked awesome. And now I have no desire. Because my, my worst fears were realized. The review, like, said it all. Everything that I was worried about. The review confirmed. Which is, um... For example... Holy shit, there's a shark right fucking there. I just walked into him. He felt me tickle his balls. But yeah, so, uh... Basically, the big issue with the game... Is, um... Well, actually, my biggest issue with the game... It's not the biggest issue, but it's my personal issue with it. It's one of those games that's, like, really short. Like, it's, it's a third-person shooter. It's got its campaign, right? You beat it. It's really short, because that's all it's got. Literally just the campaign. There's no online multiplayer. For some ungodly reason, who fucking knows why they thought that was a good idea? I mean, it's beyond me. The game has four fucking main characters on the front cover. You'd think the game would be four-player co-op. Or something like that, or at least two-player co-op. But nope. They don't implement any multiplayer whatsoever. So that was fucking, like, full retard. I don't know why the shit they thought that was a good idea. Um, but, but aside from that, there's also no competitive online multiplayer. So it's literally just the campaign. And uh, when you beat it, which is really short, zero replay value. There is no reason to play it again. So, it, it seems like one of my most hated types of video games. Which really sucks. Now, I didn't go in that room with the plants. Um, and there's, uh, for the every nook and cranny trophy, I'm going to have to go down there. But, uh, I will do that later? I probably won't record that because that is a huge waste of time. But just to let you guys know, I'm reminding you that it has to be done, and that you should do it. Eventually. But yeah, I will do it, but I'll probably do it off camera. I also gotta do, uh, the Vigil bullshit room, get into the chemical room. I forgot what the fuck a password was, and I was too lazy to actually figure it out and look it up. There's no, yeah, gotten everything, okay. Ooh, oh, stretchy stretch. Stretching is good. You use the residence key. There's no need for this bullshit anymore. You want to fucking get rid of it? Sure I do. Alrighty. Give me that hang on ammo. Alrighty. Oh! Shit. A lot of people who watch my Resident Evil Let's Play, which is the one I'm doing right now, um, they, a lot of people actually, well, well, not like a crazy a lot of people, but a few people, asked me to do an RE4 Let's Play. And I think that's cool. I'll definitely do one. I mean, hands down, that, that is definitely gonna be a thing. Because that's one of my favorite games ever. And there's no way I can have a YouTube channel built around Let's Plays without having a Let's Play of that game. Like, that's not happening. I will totally play that game at some point. I just don't know when exactly. Burn, you motherfuckers! Or, or poison, whatever the hell. So that was the only item in here, right? Yep, the map. Okay, so now we could... Let's see. Run and get the key, open the door, but I still need the book, so I gotta go back, do all that nonsense. Maybe I'll cut the recording and figure out what the fucking password is. Maybe I'll do that. But I won't do that until I get to the save. Hup. Hup. Go. I can't wait for the Evil Within DLC, man. Like, I remember I was so excited for it when I was still playing The Evil Within, but I, I think I platinumed the game back in November? 
I can't remember exactly when I platinumed it, but that was around when I stopped playing. And, uh, I was, like, mad excited to play the DLC, and then it, like, took fucking forever to come out. It still hasn't come out. And, uh, yeah, like, still has yet to fucking come out, which is really shitty. But, um, hang on, guys. Okay, so... Assuming the code is the same every time, I figured out how to do it. Yeah, okay, so let's go uh, do that. So, yeah, I'm gonna go do the code on the door, and then I'm gonna fucking uh, make v, v Jolt, which I still have yet to look up. How to do it. There's a specific way how to make it. And then I'm gonna run back down to the shark room that I didn't go in. Enter that room. Use it. Whatever. Weaken. Plan 42. I've, ever, I've never actually done this before. I've just always known that you could. But I never went through with it. Because it's so much bullshit and wasted time. When you could literally just run into the room. Shoot Plant 42 with three insignia rounds. Bam! You're done. That's it. Alright, let's see. So... Oh, this is weird. This is a different color. Blue, blue, blue. Oh, they're all blue. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, so for the first one, it's supposedly five. Second one is six. And the third one is three. But that is absolutely not correct. So that means that the puzzle's different every time. Which means I have to go fucking figure it out. God damn it. Actually, from what I'm looking up here, it says the combination, it will always be a combination of six, five, and three. So let's just try tons of different combinations. Okay, so this isn't it. No. Nope. Uh, I don't think I've done three on this one yet. Ah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Holy shit. I just random it. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys ever want to get in this room, just do every possible combination of 6, 5, and 3. That's fucking hilarious. Holy shit, there's a lot to do in here. Okay, so how the fuck do we make this? Uh, collect ingredients UMB number 3. Uh, okay. Shit, you know what? I should probably save before I fuck this up. And I don't think you guys really want to watch me do this anyway. Because it's like super complicated and shit. And there's no point. Uh, at least I don't know if you guys would want to watch me make it. It'd be pretty boring. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go save just in case I fuck this up. So BRB guys. Hey guys, look, I made Vigil. Now, uh, it took fucking forever to make this. And the thing is, if you fuck up, you gotta like, y you screw yourself because you only have a certain amount of chemicals and bottles. And uh, you have to do the combinations exactly perfectly, which is why I just wanted to fucking get it out of the way. I didn't record it because it took forever, but here it is, I have Vigil. So now I'm gonna go back down to the shark room room that I didn't go in in the shark area because that's where you use Vigil but I'm gonna cut to when I'm there because that'll take fucking forever so see ya okay I made my way back here only thing that really sucks is uh Crimson Head got up on my way here the zombie I killed in the room right before the shark stair or ladder it was really shitty 
All right, so you use Vigil right here, apparently. Whoa, this is pretty cool. Never seen this before. So apparently that just weakened it. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Oh wow, it threw away my other bottle too. That's interesting. Okay, so yeah, we can V-Jolt, or I mean, we can plant 42, and uh, there's nothing left in this room, so we did that. Now the boss fight should be pretty special, but uh, I will cut back to when I'm at plant 42, so no worries. Alright guys, so I made it back in one piece. Um, fucking incinerated that crimson head. And I took no damage, so that was pretty cool. But, um, yeah, I gotta start wrapping this up, because this has been recording way too long. So let's come over here, grab the key that I never picked up. And that should be the last thing in this room. Yes, it is. Okay. So I'm gonna go into the room where you put the book shit right here. And, uh, I'll make a quick save, and that'll be that. That will be that. Alright. I know they, uh... Oh! They don't give you ink ribbons on normal difficulty. I see. Well, I, uh, assumed that they would give me ink ribbons in this room, but they didn't. So, since they didn't, I'm gonna have to run back to the other save, grab my ink ribbons, such and such, but, uh, okay, so that's this part. I'm gonna wrap it up now. Thank you guys for watching. I've been going way too long. I, I uh, I'll make the save on my own time. And, uh, I will see you guys in my next video. So take care.